Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we're gonna build a Spitfire. It's a Mark 9 scale 172 from Edouard and that's the Profipack edition. So let's open the box and see what we have here. So it comes with a lot of sprues and lots of details. So I think I'm really going to enjoy that build. So, the first sprue basically will be quite simple. We'll have uh, the fuselage uh, in two parts, open with some structure lines inside. So it's, uh, it's a really beautiful kit. Uh, and then we'll have uh, most probably options for the for the nose, different various uh, various options for the nose, uh, depending on the air filter and which version we want we want to build. Uh, the same as well for the wings, as I can see here. As you can see, uh, you have different wing tip. Those are different type of wing tips depending on which version you want to build. So it's extremely highly detailed uh, kit. So, and what I can see as well on this kit and on those wings, uh, basically the ailerons are missing, so they will be added separately as we can see from here. So there will be also different options for the ailerons, uh, which is really beautiful, and different type of tail as well. So depending on which version and which marking we, will, we want to do, it will be a, a different one. So that's something really, really beautiful coming from uh, from that kit. I guess this is why they call it the Profi Edition. Um, we're gonna move now to the all the plastic bag. Um, there will be also lots of different uh, options, I guess. Um, lots of details I can see already from here for the cockpit and all the panel lines and structure lines which will be really beautiful and we don't want to destroy or damage anything so we have another sprue here okay as you can see you have uh, lots of uh, structural uh, panels uh, right here we have also the cockpit details. We have different uh, exhaust pipe, depending, I guess, on the, the engine version. Uh, there is a pod which should be go under the belly, but I don't know which one is which one. Different gear doors, lots of little details for the cockpit, different panels that we can open as well. Uh, those mounts, honestly, I don't know. You know, I'm not a, really an expert on those World War II uh, aircraft, but it seems like we have many, many, many different options. Um, so we're gonna have to choose carefully what to do as we want to be as accurate as possible. A couple of, uh, um, I guess those should be the tires, probably the tires, yeah. And uh, we'll have all the, the wheels structures as well. And the detail for the different type of bombs and uh, cockpit side panels as well with the prop and so on. So the kit comes as well along with um, different type of canopy as we can see and um, it's you have the options of one the bubble uh, you have to the options of making it open or closed um, you have lots of uh, you have the collimator as well. You have also the, the mirror with the go on top of that. So it's it's really a highly highly detailed kit. Um, I can see here that uh, well, it's almost a little book that we have about it. So here you can see that there is some uh, photo edge part we are already painted, and that's mainly for the cockpit. Uh, it's going to be beautiful to work with these uh, with these parts. I'm gonna enjoy that honestly. I think that uh, that model is gonna be really lovely to build. Then we have all the masking tape as well 
And let's see now the instruction sheet. So as you can see, it's a real manual. Um, you have all the description of the kit, what to do, what uh, parts you should, you don't need, basically. Uh, so it's it's really a, it's really a beautiful kit, actually. You have all the details, how to build up your cockpits, and uh, the seats is in few parts. It's really a, a beautiful airplane. So um, that's. Uh, really really a nice one so lots of informations lots of things to do and build but I think I'm gonna enjoy that kit quite a lot so the kits come with four different options uh, four different colors uh, even uh, an American one actually uh, was used in the desert and uh, I haven't decided, most probably I will do the one of the French Ace, uh, Pierre Klosterman, but that's on a separated uh, sheet. But as you see in the, the video right now, you can already see which one I decided to build. Um, and what is interesting, you have also all the, you have uh, the last part is basically all about the Spitfire uh, decals, basically all the panel lines and uh, all the information so that's that's really a beautiful little kit I'm really going to enjoy building that one and, uh, and you can see that the decal sheet is very clear very neat uh, and you have another part for the last stencil which is on the back for the panel lines and everything so I'm gonna enjoy that kit really so enough of talking and let's start building so we're gonna start this build by uh, painting the interior of uh, the fuselage and to paint basically all the structure panel for the interior. So for this I will use uh, a very light uh, green and then I will uh, start painting on the sprue directly uh, all the structure panel. Then we're gonna start preparing uh, the cockpit. So initially I will uh, remove the parts and prepare the pilot seat. And for this, after that, I will use also some photo edge part uh, who are provided in the kits. I have to say that they are really, really well done. And to get them and to put them basically on the, the kit, I will use uh, super glue. Then after, of course, there will be some more panels and some more photo edge parts, but we're gonna work with this uh, very smoothly. So now we're going to start working on the instrument panel. So as you can see, this will come uh, in uh, two and even uh, three parts, which will give uh, a nice uh, 3D effect. So for this, we're going to initially basically put uh, that uh, panel with just the instruments. And then you have all the quadrant and uh, the little clock. Uh, so we're going to be able to put these on top of the first uh, layer and then there will be another one was going to come up. Uh, below will be the compass. There is also some photo edge part but to be honest um, I didn't bother uh, too much doing those because honestly there was uh, we had uh, plenty of details and uh, we when the, the kit will be ready you won't have access so you won't be able to see really uh, all those little details on some parts. Then we're going to move on uh, further up so we're going to basically attach uh, the, the stick, the command stick um, to the fuselage, I mean basically to the base where we're going to put our seat and our, attach our instrument panel. So we'll then move uh, with uh, our uh, seat belt initially well was the seat belt harness now it's going to be the seat belt it's going to be a nice uh, 45 degree angle that we're going to be able uh, to make with uh, some super glue and then was those photo edge parts are, are basically bending quite easily so we will be able to give the, the proper effect of the the seat belt uh, lying uh, on the bottom of uh, of that pilot seat so uh, it's a little bit always of uh, fiddling sometimes uh, it's a bit of a challenge to, to get the parts, but honestly, 
nothing too difficult uh, regarding that. Then we're gonna move on the side uh, panel who will be inside the fuselage basically and they will be, repre will be representing uh, our cockpit still. So now I'm putting some uh, oxygen uh, bottle and then we're gonna have to uh, paint them in uh, a yellow color. For that I will use uh, a regular paintbrush and uh, later on we'll uh, use some uh, some panel line uh, or uh, some weathering technique basically with, uh, with a wash and uh, at the moment I'm putting the cushion for the pilot uh, seat and uh, we're gonna paint it in black and then we're gonna continue the uh, assembly of that cockpit. Now that our uh, cockpit is uh, almost ready, I'm gonna use the dry brush technique. Basically, uh, you put uh, a nice uh, paint brush and uh, you dip it in uh, some metallic paint and then you remove uh, all the excess and then you're gonna dry paint it. And that will give you basically uh, a polished metal color uh, who's gonna be uh, on there. Then we're gonna fold uh, the seat belt on uh, that pilot seat. Uh, keep doing a little bit of uh, a weathering and then I'm going to use some uh, some wash for the panel lines as you can see and this will uh, enhance basically the technique and uh, that will give us uh, a more uh, a more uh, used cockpit with a little bit of dirt and uh, using the, the dry brush and the wash will give you a more realistic effect as well. We will now uh, prepare basically the cockpit and close the cockpit. So uh, we're gonna almost finish uh, that part. So initially I was uh, putting the instrument panel and then uh, we're putting basically the seat and then the other side of, uh, of the cockpit. So it's look like a, a little bit of a, a bathtub. And then we're gonna be able to uh, fit some, uh, some more structural uh, panels and then we're gonna fit the cockpit inside the fuselage. So before uh, closing the cockpit, we're gonna use again the dry brush uh, technique to uh, get all the all the details and all the panel lines, the inside panel lines. Then uh, once again, I will add uh, that uh, dark wash uh, inside uh, those panel, and that's gonna give us uh, a little bit of a, a use uh, and uh, dirtiness uh, on that cockpit. Then. I will be able to uh, start uh, bringing all the parts and uh, putting the cockpit inside the fuselage and of course I will let it dry and then uh, we'll, uh, once it will be uh, dried and uh, we will be able to do the, the second part uh, easily and then uh, we will uh, close the fuselage together. It's now time to uh, move toward uh, our wings. So initially I will start to build the wheel well, and which is uh, in, a, in a few parts of course. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, close basically uh, the wings after a little bit of uh, adjustment. And then we'll have to, uh, after that we will have to add uh, the, the ailerons on both sides. And there is a few options uh, on, that, on that kit to do the Mark, uh, I think, 9, maybe the Mark 10 or 12 with the, with the longer wings. That was um, a reconnaissance uh, Spitfire. But uh, as I've decided to go for the Mark 9 uh, flown by Pierre Klosterman, the French ace during World War II, so um, 
I, uh, I went for the other options anyway. So now uh, we're gonna add a little bit of a putty to close all those gaps and that's uh, what we normally do. And then of course there will be a little bit of a filling for those wings and fuselage so I will have to, uh, to do some measurements and do some adjustment and then uh, we'll be able to put that uh, all together. Now that our uh, putty has dried, uh, we're gonna have to uh, remove the uh, excess uh, putty. And for this, well, I'll use uh, some uh, sandpaper, about uh, 200 grit, and then, uh, but that will be a, a very easy job. And we're gonna be able to uh, remove this uh, without any, any further issues. So we will now uh, attach our wingtips. So basically I, I choose the wingtip for the Mark 9 and uh, then we're gonna put our ailerons basically on, the, on those wings and then we're gonna be able to attach uh, the wingtip. So that's a, a pretty easy job. Uh, there will be a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of work. Basically we're gonna have to add a little bit of uh, putty later on to have those wingtips to fit perfectly there were uh, a little bit of a, a gap and then after that of course while this is drying we're gonna add our uh, our elevator and uh, so it's pretty straightforward as you can see there is uh, nothing much to do regarding those ones So we're gonna build now our uh, air intake and uh, for this we have basically uh, four uh, photo edge parts with the uh, air filters on both sides and then as you can see uh, each air intake is uh, made out of uh, three parts and that's for the basic casing then there would be the flap as well uh, regarding which kind of uh, opening we need. It's now time to uh, fill up all the gaps, so uh, we're gonna do uh, those gaps basically on the, on the wing tip. Uh, this one is gonna require a little bit of work and of course uh, at the junction between the wings and the fuselage we'll have uh, to do that and of course on the air intake that we just built. After a good uh, curing period we'll be able to uh, remove the uh, extra putty and uh, we'll for that you we're gonna use the same uh, sandpaper, the 200 uh, grid, and then uh, we'll be able to remove all the, uh, the, excess, uh, the excess putty on the, the fuselage and uh, all around the model.
So we are now uh, going to fix basically uh, and uh, to glue the last uh, clear part and that's on the back uh, of our uh, cockpit and uh, this one was very easy to do basically and uh, the fitting was perfect so uh, nothing else to complain or nothing else to say about it. Then we're gonna add uh, the windscreen and more or less the same here. So after putting all the masks, it's time to go to the paint booth. So we're going to paint uh, initially with uh, a light green, basically on the, the canopy and the cockpit windows. And uh, then we will be able to uh, start painting the overall model. So I will start with the underbelly, uh, which I use um, a light gray color and uh, no, nothing else basically to, to say. Uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, then we're going to add uh, the camouflage basically uh, on the uh, upper side. But uh, while we are finishing this, we have to go through everything. Then we're going to start painting uh, the propeller in black. And uh, that's also uh, pretty straight uh, forward. Uh, then we're going to paint the, the band. Basically there is a band or, or a ring around the fuselage, on the aft part of the fuselage. And for this I use... Uh, a deck tan color and it's the same color for the nose cone uh, of that Spitfire. So uh, that goes pretty uh, pretty straight uh, forward. Uh, then we're gonna paint basically the tip of uh, the propeller in the nice uh, yellow color. Then uh, once uh, this will be finished we're gonna add basically the, the green color for the, for the canopy and then we're gonna start uh, working this time with the uh, a darker grey and I will do an overhaul on the upper fuselage and then we'll have to do all the camouflage uh, in the in the little while. So to prepare the green camouflage I use some uh, blue tack uh, I have used some blue tack basically and what I will do that will as it will not uh, be like um, an adhesive tape it will leave a little gap and we'll have that little degradé uh, for the different colors on the camouflage and the other part the remaining gray part will be uh, taped basically I will use some uh, adhesive tape but you will see uh, the overall uh, how the overall process is going uh, through this uh, video Now that the painting mask is finished, I will uh, use uh, the green uh, color for the for that camouflage uh, paint. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's a pretty easy uh, it's a pretty easy uh, process. But of course, it might take a little bit of time. It's just time consuming, but uh, the overall result is much better than if you were having uh, just a straight line. You'll have that shade between and that nice little transition between the two uh, camouflage color, and that's really nice on those models. So we're going to start the decaling process and uh, for, the, for those models I used the Cardena uh, decals and they were doing just the livery of uh, Pierre Klostermann. So Pierre Klostermann was uh, the French uh, ace during World War II. He had over uh, 30 victories and uh, he had lots of uh, decorations. So I wanted, I read all his books as, a, as, a ch as I was a child and I wanted to, uh, as a good memories. I wanted to make uh, his aircraft, so uh, on a later video you will see also the Tempest that he flew toward the end of World War II. And, uh, but uh, I wanted to do that as a, as a good memory. So uh, the Cardena decals are pretty 
easy. They were not that soft. I could have expected a better result, so I had to use a lot of uh, decal solution and softener, but even so, uh, they did not adhere completely to the, to the lines and uh, the structure lines. Anyway, after finishing these, we're gonna now start preparing uh, the other carriage. So you have a uh, bow string, you come together and then you can add uh, around basically the tire and then we'll be able to put them now on the, on the other carriage. The Edouard kit was also uh, providing some uh, structure decal for that uh, Spitfire. So we're gonna put those uh, also on the, on the propeller and on the aircraft. So uh, that's uh, the little cherry on the cake, I have to say. And I was very happy because uh, those decals are really working uh, much better than the, the one I was uh, using previously. So the last touch will be to add uh, the uh, exhaust pipe and uh, for this as you could see uh, earlier I did a mix uh, of a metallic color and some pigments and now we're going to start to uh, to do the weathering process. So for this I use a, a new technique which is a sponge uh, and also I'm trying to chip the paint uh, with, a, with a regular paintbrush and doing all this will be able to give us uh, some uh, pretty good weathering uh, effect. So uh, I will use that technique and then uh, you will see for the, for the rest. Uh, I'm using also some uh, different uh, makeup uh, tools and some, uh, some dark wash, some enamel uh, dark wash, but you will see this in a, in a little while. So after doing all those chips, now it's time to uh, use the uh, enamel wash. And for this, basically you put a drop in the panel lines and then you use a dry cloth or a, a cotton bud and basically you go always in the line uh, in the sense of the where the wind is going through and then you will have that speed effect uh, on, the, on, the weather, on the weathering techniques.
So I will now use my uh, other makeup tool and basically this, is, will, this will be for uh, the smoke uh, basically uh, around the engines and around the guns and uh, that has a dark color like oil stained and uh, this will add some more uh, reality to the model. And this is the final result of that uh, Spitfire Mark 9 flown by uh, Pierre Klosterman. I hope you enjoyed that uh, build with me because uh, I really did. And I have to say that those uh, Profi edition from Edouard are amazing. So you will be seeing more of those videos because I think as soon as I'll have a, a new release on those kits, I'm going to go for them and uh, try to get them all because it's really enjoyable modeling. So I hope to see you soon and thank you for watching.